All right, in this video, we are gonna be calculating food to microorganism ratio. This is part of our wastewater unit, where we're now shifting from water calculations to wastewater calculations. Now remember, when we talk about conventional water treatment, we're referring to the activated sludge process. So in this process, we've gone through pretreatment, primary treatment, we're now talking secondary treatment. So in our secondary treatment, now we're looking at our aeration basin, and we're also looking at our secondary clarifier. Remembering that in our aeration basin, this is where we are bubbling the water with oxygen or air, and we are adding in our microorganisms. Remember those beneficial microorganisms. Sometimes here people say bacteria because those microorganisms are predominantly bacteria, but remember there's a lot of other microorganisms in there. So these microorganisms, remember, eat the organic matter. They consume it, right? And they need oxygen in order to do that, right? So that's why we are aerating this tank, filling it with microorganisms, and then we're going to pass our wastewater stream through there. After water has been treated in the aeration basin, we're then going to send it off to our secondary clarifier, where, like just like our primary clarifier, we're trying to clear the water so that eventually all of our particles now settle to the bottom, right? That sludge settles to the bottom. Remember that some of that sludge is gonna be returned back to our aeration basin, right? Keep those microorganisms around, keep them happy. This is our quote unquote RAS, our return activated sludge. Sometimes you'll hear microbial seed. Some of this then gets wasted off, right? For used for other purposes nowadays, a lot of times turned into compost. And so if you can imagine in this aeration basin, we've got a bunch of microorganisms, we're feeding them food, we need to keep them happy. But the analogy I like to use is a pizza party. If I invited 30 of you to a pizza party and I ordered one Costco pizza, everyone would not be happy, right? Uh, we have some really angry people. And just like people at my party, these bugs are also not going to be happy in that situation. In fact, these bugs will start to consume each other. If I have another pizza party and I invite five of you over and I order 30 pizzas and I say no one's leaving till we eat all these pizzas, uh, we're probably not going to be very happy either. Right? So too much food is also not good as well. Right? These microorganisms just can't keep up. They eat too much, they get too sluggish. So what do we need to do? We need to balance the amount of food and the amount of microorganisms available. How do we calculate this? Remember when we talk about food, we are referring to the BOD. Remember, what does BOD stand for? Biological oxygen demand. We are referring to BOD as our food, quote unquote. We are going to be comparing, comparing that to our MLVSS, our mixed liquor volatile suspended solids, which represents our microorganisms that are available to consume the food. And so this ratio of food to microorganisms is actually how we calculate our FM ratio our food to microorganism ratio. And we're typically going to be referring to these in terms of pounds of BOD divided by pounds of MLVSS, right? So it's the ratio of one to the other. Where do we typically like to be? We typically like, like to be somewhere between 0 0.2 to 0 0.5 in our ratio. Now, keep in mind this number is going to vary highly depending on your specific plant depending on the concentration of the waste stream coming in, the type of waste coming in, where this plant's located, the time of the year, the temperature, there's all these factors that kind of impact this. So let's run some numbers. Let's look at a scenario we're going to, where we are going to be calculating the FM ratio. So we've got a plant. Our plant uh, flow is going to average 5 MGD, so a smaller plant. We are going to measure the amount of BOD. All right, we're doing a BOD five-day test. We see that our BOD in this case is, we'll just say, an average of 350 milligrams per liter. Remember, is BOD food or is it microorganisms? It's food, right? Biological oxygen demand. What we're measuring is the oxygen. That oxygen is consumed hand-in-hand -hand with our organic matter. So by measuring the oxygen consumption, we're measuring the organic matter. Right? We're using it as an indicator. In our aeration tank, we've got, as remember, that's where the bugs are. Uh, we're going to do a volume of, let's just say, 2.5 million gallons. Maybe there's a couple aeration basins here. We've got a MLSS concentration, MLVSS concentration, that we also measure to be 1,800. 
And again, that's 1,800 milligrams per liter. All right, so here's our scenario. Here's our setup. What do we care about? We care about the flow running through our plant. We care about the concentration of food that's making it to our secondary treatment. We care about the volume of our aeration basin because that is where the bugs are. This is the ratio that we care about. If we are given other information, our TSS, if we're given other volumes, our filtration rates, our sludge settling rates, any of these, we care about those in, as far as process control, but we're not concerned about those in calculating the FM ratio. So the FM ratio then, what does it become? Well, it becomes essentially a pounds formula up top and a pounds formula on the bottom. Because again, remember, we need pounds of BOD and we need pounds of MLVSS. Okay, so what is my pounds formula? Okay, now I'm going back. Yes, pounds formula. You're going to see it again and again and again. doesn't matter whether you're on the water side or the wastewater side. You're going to see the pounds formula. So remember, what do we need? We need concentration in part per million or, mil or milligram per liter. We need flow or volume in terms of million gallons. And then, of course, the weight of water. Right? So what are we doing? We're basically doing a pounds formula up top, pounds formula on bottom, and then we're going to divide the two out. So in this case, what am I looking up top? I'm looking at the food, food to microorganisms. So what do I got? I've got a concentration of 350. I've got a volume of 5. And, of course, the weight of water, 8.34 pounds per gallon. What do I got for my, my microorganisms? Well, I've got a concentration of microorganisms of 1,800 milligrams per liter. I've got a volume of 2.5 million gallons times, of course, the weight of water. Some of you math folks are looking at this going, wait a second, 8.34. You can basically cancel those out if you want. Run the pounds formula as you normally would. That's what you're more comfortable, more familiar with. But this works in this fashion. So basically, what are we saying? We're saying 350 times 5, and we're saying 1,800 times 2.5. So you can choose to run those separately or run them all in your calculator all together, whatever you want to do. So I'm going to do 350 times 5 in parentheses. I'm going to divide that by 1,800 times 2.5 in parentheses. And what do I get? I get a FM ratio of 0 0.39, or we'll call it 0 0.39, which is basically 0 0.4, which is in our ideal range. Yes, that's right where we want to be. So as a plant operator, you're going to have kind of your ideal range here for your FM ratio, where you know this is where our plant operates most efficiently, most effectively. And you're going to plan for that accordingly, keeping in mind, of course, this is going to fluctuate throughout the year, throughout even different times of the day, right? So what do we do? Pounds of BOD divided by pounds of MLVSS. We care about the BOD associated with the flow through that part of the treatment plant. Where are the bugs located? They're located in our aeration tank. Concentration of bugs, we run the pounds formula, and voila.